What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's me, they call me Heat. So I've learned a lot of you don't know how to necessarily make your drums feel natural, make them swing, you know what I'm saying? Give it that human bounce, just that, that, that bounce that just make you just wanna just move, you know what I mean? So I wanna show you guys how I achieve that, and the steps that I take to do that, to get that real bounce. Let's go ahead and dive into how to make your drums bounce all right if this is your first time watching make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on all notifications as well that way you don't miss any more videos especially if you love the content that you're seeing so far join me on discord join the heat cafe the community me and uh you know over 300 other boom bap heads in there too all right just hit the link in the description it'll take you right there let's go ahead and get into the video and Get our drum bouncing let's get that groove let's cook up that groove let's make our drums bounce let's get into it y'all all right so i got this sample from uh, browning bryant called losing i'm gonna play it for you i, I got the section that i want to use but i'm gonna play you kind of the sample and what it sounds like get hit with copyright i don't know but that's the sample you get the gist of it so i got it in the fruity slicer now chopped it up that's dope i, <laughs> I rock with that that's hard so now i know how i want to chop it up and it's been a while since i've done the melody before the drums so it's gonna be interesting so now we gotta get the tempo right because we got to make sure that you know what i got in my head fits you know so i like to work in double time of course a lot of you're like why why is it so fast why is it i just like to work in double time so if you see my tempo you can just do it in a, the time sub, subtract that <laughs> divide that in half and then that'll give you the actual tempo of where it should be in single time Now, first step, first trick in making everything flow and starting to get the groove through the whole overall track. After I've laid the sample down, now I would highlight all of these and I would quantize them by Alt Q, quantizing them, and then um, hit Enter. And then now I can hold Shift as long as my um, the snap to grid is set to none. As long as that's set to none, now I can hold the shift button and hold the arrow left or right really only right because I mean unless you're going back the other way after taking it off time you don't really need to go to the left so going to the right hold shift one two three four five six maybe go back to five but six seems cool it hits a little bit after the metronome does for the sake of this I'm just gonna keep them on point right at zero, you know, right on point, and then I'll start building the drums up and show you how it sounds without taking things off time. So I got two separate kicks. So I have two different kicks because I like one tone to hit right on the one, and then I have the second kick to hit before the other kick hits right on the one. So I like to have two separate kicks to have two different tones. And you'll see why. So you get the gist of what I'm, what I'm doing. So I'm gonna lay this drum pattern down and then separate everything from there. Now I can 
quantize them. Of course, get them, get them correct, get them on point real quick. simple process right normally with my kick and my snare I leave those on point unless there's certain little things like with the extra hit I'm gonna probably move those a little bit closer to the other kicks these kicks as you can see hit before this other kick so I'm gonna just highlight all these do my trick of turning my um, grid off to none holding shift and when you hover and you keep your mouse over you can see in the top corner left corner up here where it's actually moving to and how many steps you're moving it so when you hold shift and you move it one that's just one step. So I'll show you. So I'm gonna move it probably like eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See what that sounds like. It sounds a little crazy right right now though. But now we gotta go to the sample and take the sample off time so it sounds good to the ear. Watch this. I usually with hi-hats, I usually try not to like quantize those. I kind of keep my quantize off. Turn the snap off, don't quantize anything. Just allow that natural, natural quantize to happen or natural feel. So let's say, you know, you don't, you're not able to turn your latency very low like me, you know. Cool. So you have to quantize to then take it off time. So now what you can do is you can quantize it course hold the shift move it over about six and then you know you can kind of play with the in-between notes as well and move those and make those weird so you know make that eight and make this like seven Now we gotta add another set of hi-hats in to give it that, that groove. I got my 16 levels on. So I'm gonna go do like a As you can see, like, of course, like I said, I, I have low latency, so I don't really have a lot of lag when I'm laying my parts down. So I can do the extra hi-hats, and you can as well, too. You know, you can change your grid to whatever timing you want, throw them in, mess with the velocities, you know, moving these velocities up and down. As you can see, that's kind of what I'm doing when I do 16 levels. So you can take this here, the same method, and see how the velocities are lower. You can add yours in. And you can do the same exact thing. And that's how you get your drums to have a good groove and well, not necessarily just your drums, but your hi-hats as well. So of course you cannot have a track without an open hi-hat. And we gotta throw that in there now. So I'm gonna put that in. That's just gonna add an extra little flair to it. And if you haven't caught on already, you should already know, no quantize. Like don't quantize anything unless you have to.
right, y'all, so I changed the snare up. Um, I kind of feel like I want to change the, the pitch up now as well, and then I want to add a bass line to kind of close this out. So just recap, I showed you guys how to, you know, get your kicks, your kicks on point, snares on point, hi-hats on point, especially the open hi-hat as well. You can kind of take those same, you know, I, that same idea and just, like, use it, a, a, you know, on your drums, apply it to your drums, and just kind of mess with it and see what it does for you and how it can help you. So I changed the snare, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like, but I'm gonna mess with the pitch real quick before I drop a bass line. <laughs> One more thing here. So you already know I had to pull arcade out to just kind of just fill it in. Found this. That's dope. So I'm going to throw that in. Watch what happens. That put that flavor on it right there. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. I like that. That's real hard. I hope that you guys picked up some type of valuable information from this today as far as how to create that bounce and that swing with your drums. At the beginning you heard how stiff it was and then when I started taking things off time and not really relying on the grid itself, it gave it that more human feel and that's what I want you guys to do. Don't rely on the grid, don't rely on the grid, don't rely on quantize, rely on what's in here all right so yeah if you like the video make sure you subscribe turn on all notifications um, and if you want the sounds from the beat that i use today be sure to support the channel become a patron today and uh yeah every week you'll get the files from the, the beat that i made in the video okay i'm out of here make sure you guys share tell your friends about this help them out too all right so yeah until next time y'all i'm out of here peace Thank you.